Hello, today we're going to talk about cycles of matter, specifically the nitrogen cycle. By the end of today's notes, you should be able to answer the question, how do nitrogen atoms cycle through different organisms and places? Let's begin. Cycles. Cycles involve living, biotic, and non-living, abiotic factors. Atoms get rearranged as they move from place to place and organism to organisms. Plants and photosynthesis keep many cycles moving. Essentially, if there's no sun, there are no cycles. Now let's move on to nitrogen. Nitrogen atoms are found in the air as nitrogen gas, nitrogen compounds in the soil, and proteins, which are found in all organisms. This is nitrogen gas. Here's the nitrogen atoms. Here's nitrogen compounds, and here are the nitrogen atoms in those compounds. And here is a protein, and here is the nitrogen in that protein. The uses of nitrogen vary, but it's safe to say that all organisms need nitrogen. Producers, such as plants, take nitrogen compounds in the soil to make protein. However, if there's not enough nitrogen compounds in the soil, they will get their nitrogen by trapping other organisms, like the Venus flytrap, which leads us to consumers. Consumers are unable to make their own proteins, so they have to eat them. They eat for the purpose of getting protein to grow. Decomposers also need proteins, but they also break down protein for energy. Let's talk more about decomposers. They help recycle matter, essentially atoms. They break down dead stuff or waste. Here's some dead stuff and here's some waste. Big decomposers like worms, pill bugs, shrimp, slugs, etc. help break down large pieces of dead stuff and waste into smaller pieces. Worms do an excellent job of breaking things down in the soil for microbes. Microbes, or microscopic decomposers like bacteria and fungi, will turn small pieces of dead stuff and waste into small molecules and atoms that are released into the environment. And here's the nitrogen cycle. As you can see, we have nitrogen gas, proteins, and nitrogen compounds in the soil. Here is our consumer, represented by the moo moo, which is an animal, and our producer, a plant. Our dead stuff and waste are represented by some dead flowers and the moo moo's poop. And now, as we move into the soil, you can see that the worms and the bacteria and fungi are working together to turn that waste and dead stuff into nitrogen compounds. On the left we have our nitrogen fixing bacteria. They are super important. These bacteria are one of the few bacteria that can take nitrogen gas from the air and turn it into nitrogen compounds. And on the right we have denitrifying bacteria. They're just the opposite of nitrogen fixing bacteria because denitrifying bacteria turn nitrogen compounds back into nitrogen gas which goes back into the atmosphere. This is the entire nitrogen cycle where nitrogen gas gets turned into nitrogen compounds which turns into proteins by plants which gets turned back into nitrogen compounds by the decomposers and those nitrogen compounds get turned back into nitrogen gas by the denitrifying bacteria. But then that gas gets turned into nitrogen compounds by the nitrogen fixing bacteria and the process starts over and over and over again. And that's why it's called the nitrogen cycle. So now you can answer this question. How do nitrogen atoms cycle through different organisms and places? All right, that's it. Hope you learned something. Bye.